In this problem, we're going to use Raoult's Law. We are given a solution that contains 8.97 grams of glycerin, C3H8O3, and 75.0 grams of water. We want to calculate the vapor pressure of this solution at 27 degrees Celsius. We are told that the vapor pressure of pure water at 27 degrees Celsius is 27 millimeters of mercury. To solve this problem, we need to use Raoult's Law. The equation for Raoult's Law is as follows. The vapor pressure of the solution is equal to the mole fraction of the solvent times the vapor pressure of the pure solvent at the same temperature. We will begin by calculating the mole fraction of the solvent. In this problem, water is our solvent, so we need to calculate the mole fraction of water present. To do that, we need to figure out how many moles of glycerin we have, as well as the number of moles of water we have in this problem. So we will start by converting 8.97 grams of glycerin to moles of glycerin. Using the periodic table, we calculate the molar mass of glycerin to be 92.1 grams. We will then calculate the number of moles of water present. So we'll convert 75.0 grams of water to moles using the molar mass of 18.0 grams. Once we have the number of moles of glycerin and the number of moles of water, we will add these two numbers together to give us the total number of moles present in the solution. This is a value of 4.27 moles. Now we are ready to calculate the mole fraction of water. The mole fraction of water is equal to the number of moles of water divided by the total number of moles present. So we will take 4.17 moles of water divided by the total number of moles, which is 4.27. This gives us a mole fraction of 0 0.977. We are now ready to plug this value into our expression for Raoult's Law. We have the mole fraction of the solvent is equal to 0 0.977, and we know the vapor pressure of the pure solvent is 27 millimeters of mercury. We multiply these two values together, we find that the vapor pressure of the solution is 26.4 millimeters of mercury.